What's up and welcome back to the channel. I am on my way across southern Utah right now, heading to Moab to go hit one of the biggest, most gnarly swings out there. It's happening in two days and I'm just stopping at a couple really sweet places along the way. First of which is just this really old gas station that's still standing. Just randomly saw this on the side of the road and I thought it was awesome. Got this super, super old truck that is epic looking. Inside doesn't even look too bad. But yeah, this place is sick. Like, look at this car. It's still just sitting at the gas pump after however many freaking years. Got the ambulance. Let's try to go inside. I love, love old stuff like this. It's crazy to imagine like what this was like when it was actually a running gas station. Got a giant wood burning stove there here was like the window that you probably paid at and the garages they were probably fixing people's old old cars at this is really really cool oh there's a basement oh that is creepy well what kind of guy would i be if i didn't go down into the basement oh there's not much it's literally just this tiny room right there on the right and one right over there and some stairs missing and i feel like i'm gonna fall through them so, I'm gonna stay upstairs. Oh boy, this does not feel structurally sound. But we are way out here in the middle of no man's land. A little mattress in there, maybe someone's living here. But yeah, let's hop in the Ambo, continue this drive. Got two more hours to get to the next spot. And it is my favorite place in all of Utah that I've ever been to. Maybe that'll change when I get to Moab, but for now, the place that I'm heading to next, coolest place I've ever seen in Utah. All right, well, we have officially made it to Swing Arm City out in Caneville, Utah. The coolest place in all of Utah, in my opinion. Got here last night, rode around a whole bunch with no cameras, just doing it for myself. And it is the next day. I'm gonna strap the GoPro to my chest, take you guys for the ride, and uh, show you what this place is all about. Part. You never know how skinny they are at the top. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, well, I gotta try it again. Down. Oh, way too soft to try to go up, go back up. So I gotta try to get over to that trail, but I don't even think that's gonna be possible. Oh, <laughs> really hope I can go out this way. That's what I just came down. And yeah, <laughs> gotta try to get back to a trail now. This definitely was not a trail, but it is now.
down that bitch. Gotta, <laughs> gotta take a left at the top of that thing. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so there's the super steep part, and then you gotta cut that way. Not that way. Oh boy, that was a close one. Gotta use all my energy, turn this thing around, head back to the ambulance, and make my way to Moab. Yes, Moab. All right, I got the bike turned around. That's where I came up from. That's where I almost went. Back to the ambulance, safe and sound. Hopefully there's no more crazy parts like that. Oh, no. That very next part is literally straight up and down. Like, that's, that's beyond my skill level, I know that. I'm packing up and moving locations because it's like a hurricane where I parked. I gotta go find somewhere else that's out of the wind. This is ridiculous. So this is what my hair looks like after riding all day in the 90 degree heat. Uh, I need to go find some cell service and figure out how to get to Moab because I don't even know which way to turn. Let's go. All right, I just got to Moab last night. It was like 95 degrees yesterday, and today it's like 60. It's cold, which I love. But I am at the infamous trail called Hell's Revenge. I really wanna take the ambulance on it because I think it'd be the first of its kind to ever do this trail. It's a super popular trail here in Moab, but I'm gonna rip the dirt bike on it first and uh, see how bad it really is to see what I think about taking the ambulance on it. So let's go rip the dirt bike first, come back, maybe take the ambulance. All right, we're on the bike. Let's go out and see what this is all about. This is the new GoPro angle right now, so I'm curious how it's gonna do. All these guys over there seem to think I'm gonna be able to make it, so we'll see. Oh, this is going to be terrifying in the ambulance. I'm gonna be leaning so far to the left. I don't wanna be leaning over that little drop and then take a tumble. Once I'm up here, I'm good. There's just that one spot back there that has me questioning it. I might scrape right here. <laughs> well, this is rough, because even just at this spot, I feel like I'm gonna tip over on that. There's no way I can do this part with the ambulance. Absolutely no way. Oh, yeah, there's literally no chance. There's no way. would never do this. Oh, this would be so sick. Well, let's just enjoy the dirt quick ride, shall we? That was a very rough ride, even on a dirt bike. So there's no chance of the ambulance making it, but made it to the end of the trail here. This is the river overlook, and I'm about to go down and see what's happening with this, uh, this blue Tacoma, see what they're getting into down there. All right, I just realized the visor has been in the screen this entire time, so that's awesome. I think I got that fixed. All right, you shouldn't be able to see it till there, right? Yeah, yeah, it's probably okay. All right, let's go check out this truck, see if they're getting stuck. That is gnarly. All right, let's see if I can do this. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Damn. Articulation. Uh oh. Oh, that's just a spring. It just does that. Yeah. Driver, cut driver. 
Nice. Driver. I couldn't do the other spot because the back end was gonna scrape way too badly and just destroy everything. So I found another one. I'm waiting for a couple guys that I just met. They're gonna come over and spot me and see how badly I am or am not gonna scrape. And then I'm gonna try to zoom up this thing. But video, this looks so simple, but it is so steep in person. Like I'm questioning myself wanting to drive up it. Oh, here he comes right now, sick. All right, I gotta air the tires down and we're gonna try it. Here's a Jeep going up just to give you a little bit of perspective. I feel like this one kind of shows how steep it is, but it, it, nothing in video is ever going to show what it was actually like there. But just take my word for it, guys. It was wild. I was very uh, uncertain if I should try it or not. And if for some reason my four-wheel drive slipped into neutral, I would come flying down backwards and end up rolling the ambulance and it would be an absolute disaster. I actually thought about wearing my dirt bike helmet while I was going up just in case that happened, but I was fully prepared to roll the ambulance and accept those consequences. wild that is just chilling there with a stick <laughs> just such an epic spot like it really doesn't get much better than this just as 
are, as you can see, freaking nuts. All right, well, my trusty stick worked. My bike didn't fall down the mountain, or off the cliff, I should say. And uh, yesterday when I got to Moab, it was like 90 some degrees. It was super hot, and now I am freezing up on this mountain. It's crazy how elevation works like that. I'm gonna pack my stuff up. It's like a half hour ride on this gnarly road all the way back to where I parked the ambulance. And then another hour and a half to two hours to the next spot I gotta go to for the big swing. So let's get ready for that. Cannonball!